Girls Beauty Hey beauties, Andrea. I realize you guys couldn't see my hair due to my dark shirts. Um, yeah, I do like the color black. This video is going to be a review on Shea Moisture. Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow and Restore Treatment Mask. And Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow and Restore Living Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint and Keratin. This is for natural, chemically processed, color treated or heat styled hair. Of course, it has no sulfates, like I said, no folates, no gluten, no mineral oil, no synthetic color, no animal testing, which is great. I did use this in the shower after I washed and conditioned and detangled my hair. I put this on. I usually just get ready and I get out of the shower after 15 minutes. I just use the shower nozzle and just tilt my head, just rinse this out. And this made my hair feel really, really soft. The texture, it looks like peanut butter. <laughs> put some water in peanut butter. That's, that's what it looks like. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So it's like a little bit more watery. But yeah, the smell smells very good. Smells like shea butter. That's what it is. It makes your hair really, really soft and moisturized, and I don't have no complaints about it. This video makes me very, very excited because I love when a living conditioner gives you the look of a gel, but it has the feeling of a living conditioner. I do love gels. I don't have no problems with gels. But the only thing that I would have a problem with is with gels that makes my hair hard. It's supposed to nourish, repair, and grow your hair. This one that I have is 16 ounce. It's sulfate and color safe. And in the back it says this reparative living conditioner softens and detangles hair while controlling frizz. Perfect for those who regularly color, strengthen, perm, or heat style their hair, as well as kinky, curly, or wavy natural styles. Formulated with Jamaican black castor oil and certified organic shea butter to nourish, moisturize, and support elasticity to hair. So hair resists breakage when detangling. Conditioners provide a protective layer that improves the appearance of split ends. Peppermint simulates the scalp for an invigorating experience. Color on the side, it looks like the same color on the outside, but just a little bit lighter. And it is very watery. Oh my goodness. When I see it, I was like, oh man, this is not going to give no control to my hair. It's too watery. It's probably going to make it weaker and not really give a very good control. It would probably just moisturize. It probably not moisturize and not enough hold. That's what I'm worried about, hold, when it comes to living conditioners. I think a lot of them don't have enough hold. But by hold, I mean like to minimize the frizz. For a moisturizer, I did use the Moroccan Oil Intense Curl Cream. And I did review right before this is what I applied. Just divided my hair too, applied on each side. I did divide my hair section by section and I applied it everywhere. You feel like watery, but at the same time, you can feel the thickness. You can feel like you are applying product to your hair. You know, sometimes you're applying product to your hair and you feel like it doesn't matter how much you apply, it's you. It still feels like you got nothing in your hair. This one, you don't feel like that. Even that, even though it's watery, it does have some a little bit of a thickness to it. Applied all over, I air dried my hair. Me, as my hair was drying, I did see it more frizz than I see now. I didn't really think it would look great. Right now, it's 100% dry, but it does. I love the results. Oh my goodness, I love everything about it. I don't dislike anything. This is what my hair looks like. I'm not disliking anything. It gives me the proper shine and. Everything. I just love it. It's just so nice. I, my hair is very long, like an inch from my belly button. For the shrinkage, I don't think I got extra shrinkage or anything. My hair is just curly as it would be when on a very good day, right? Good curly hair day. But yeah, I didn't get much shrinkage. As I pull it down, it does go down a little bit more. I don't have anything bad to say about this product. The smell, well. <sighs> I feel like it smells, smells, I feel like it smells a little bit like shea butter, but the peppermint and the keratin, well, peppermint, kind of pushes the smell a little bit. I don't smell no peppermint, by the way, no peppermint. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't smell no peppermint. I just smells like shea butter, but something is preventing the shea butter smell from really smell like stronger of a scent. So it almost has no scent. The scent just disappears in your hair. Your hair just smells like it's clean. Yeah, that's about it. I recommend this for everybody. Even if you have thin hair, it's a great thing because it is very light. So you, don't, you just don't apply as much. And I have a lot left. And this is perfect because it's Shea Moisture. So they are affordable. I get so happy when I find different products that are affordable. Because, you know, that's what you use the most, right? I think Shea Moisture is an amazing line overall. Even if you try a product you don't like, you can always try something from them that will work for you. 
in my opinion. Let me know down below if you have tried this product. I just regret the fact that I, I'm i only coming to it now. Really late because I had this for almost three months now. <laughs> but yeah. Don't forget to leave it down below if you tried this product or not. And let me know down below all the Shea Moisture products that you tried before. If you like them, definitely recommend the Shea Moisture Living Conditioner as well as the mask. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And thank you for watching. Bye. Mwah. With my fingers. It's actually very, very creamy. And it's right here. Soft, by the way. At first, when it was starting to dry, I felt like my hair was getting a little bit harder. Feel the hold in your hair.